Recently, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson was distrusted by a number of parliamentarians. But in the end he won. What caused the minister's reputation to be shaken and how he commented on this unpleasant situation? All the information in this video. Boris Johnson has survived a vote of confidence held by his own party. Conservative MPs voted Monday in a secret ballot by 211 to 148 to allow Johnson to remain party leader and, by extension, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. The government put a brave face on the result, with Johnson describing it as convincing and decisive. I think this is a very good result for politics and for the country, he said in an interview given shortly after the vote. But standing in the Houses of Parliament, it was impossible to ignore the sick look on faces of Loyalist MPs clearing the room within two minutes of the announcement. The result was far narrower than even the most pessimistic Johnson allies feared. Ahead of the vote, a margin of 80 was considered by many to be a worst-case scenario. Now, Johnson supporters are scrambling to spin these results as a victory or deciding what their next move is, as his premiership looks shakier than in any time since he took office. Before the vote, Johnson had been informed by Graham Brady, chairman of the 1922 Committee of MPs, that 54 no-confidence letters, the threshold required to trigger a vote, had been submitted on Sunday afternoon. It came after a tense weekend for the PM, after he'd been loudly booed in public at an event celebrating the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and his personal poll ratings slipped further in the wake of the Partygate scandal. Though the vote may impact his legacy, Johnson never really expected to lose. Not only did rebels need a huge number, 180, MPs to vote against Johnson, there was no obvious alternative candidate to replace him. Some detractors also said he'd struck a serious tone at the meeting, and that they expected Johnson to win. Johnson and his allies now hope that the Conservative Party and the rest of the country will be able to move on from the Partygate scandal, in which Johnson was found to be the first British Prime Minister to have broken the law while in office.